Hey everybody, I'm here today with a video on different types of stop signs. This will be a simple driving lesson, so let's get right into the video. Where I live, there are mainly two different types of stop signs. I'll be showing you the different types of stop signs right here. I've sort of drawn them out on a sheet of paper. And I have on the back side some examples of intersections that deal with those stop signs. So please pay attention. And then I'll tell you about a third type of stop sign that exists, but it's not very common. I've only found a handful of them in my entire life living and driving where I live and drive. So the first type of stop sign is just like this. It's a stop sign. It just says stop. There's nothing below it. It just says stop. Now that means that it's a stop sign, but there's no guarantee that all of the parts of the intersection have a stop sign. Okay. Now the other one is a stop sign right here. It says stop, but underneath it, and I'll bring it a little bit closer. Excuse my poor writing. It says all the way, which means that all of the ways have stop signs. So every direction of that intersection must stop. Whether it's a three-way intersection, a two-way, a five-way, a four-way, whatever the case is, however many parts of the intersection, if it says all way, then all of those directions must stop. Those are the two main types. Now I've, I have some examples right here. So the first example is for the regular stop sign. So you can see it's on the top of the paper, the regular stop sign, and I've drawn it over here. Now for this example, the little circles represent a stop sign and those lines represent like a stop line on the road. So basically, as you can see, okay, if you're driving this way or this way, you have a stop sign, okay? So you have to stop. And then these directions, there are arrows. So the car is going up and down over here, can drive right through that intersection. So the car is going side to side, have to stop, but the car is going up and down, can drive right through the intersection. This is called a through intersection for them, and it's a stop intersection for them, okay? Very simple. So these cars have to stop and wait for a clear opening and wait until they have the right of way to continue through the intersection. The other one is an always stop, which as you can see right here, all of the directions of this intersection have a stop sign and a stop line. So that means that no matter which direction you're coming from, you have to stop the car where the stop line is, okay? You have to stop the car before the intersection. So no matter which direction you're coming from, you have to stop. And then whoever has the right of way will proceed first. Very simple and straightforward, okay? Basically with this stop sign, it means you have to stop, but other people are not stopping for the most part. That's what that means. You have to stop, but there are other people in that intersection that are not stopping. So proceed with caution. Make sure you it's clear and make sure you have the absolute right of way before you proceed. For this one, all of the directions have to stop. So everyone should be stopping. It doesn't mean that they will stop, but everyone should be stopping. And then obviously whoever has the right of way will proceed. There is another kind of stop sign that exists rarely where I live, which is a three-way stop sign in which when you have an intersection, three of the directions have to stop and the fourth direction continues. Okay. So for instance, we're going to take this one, just forget about, or we'll take this one. It makes it a bit easier. Um, there's a parking lot in a very popular plaza where close to where I live. Um, it's in Etobicoke. I don't know if you're going to know what it is, but if you, if you live in Etobicoke, you know about this stop sign. Cause there's, <laughs> I've seen like four or five accidents in that plaza in the, just the time that I've been shopping there. It's crazy. But basically this direction, is able to proceed without a stop sign coming from the bottom here. And then these three have stop signs. And that's a very rare occurrence, but that is still the case. And sometimes it might say three way on it. Other times it might just show a stop sign because it's not going to let you know that, that, you know, all the three of the four have stop signs. It just let you, lets you know someone else doesn't have a stop sign. That's it. Now, those are the different types of stop signs. A simple driving lesson. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know when you think, let me know what you think down below. Let's try that again. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.